Oh, no, that was, uh, that was Alex. That was Alex. I'll take the name. I'm all right. All right. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get started. First, I just want to say thank you all so much for joining us this afternoon to celebrate here in downtown Luslico. We're celebrating the opening of a new business here in beautiful Luslico, which is Buzz Bowl Creamery. Let's give them a round of applause. long-awaited uh, ribbon cuttings. We've been talking about this and Ms. Domino has been working on this for quite some time to bring this project to fruition. Obviously they've done an amazing job. The space is beautiful and uh, definitely somewhere that we want to encourage our community to come out and visit. So we're so happy to be here to celebrate with you. We thank you for opening your doors to us and allowing us to be here and of course becoming a member of the Wasico Chamber of Commerce. So as we get started, I know we're also on live on Facebook. So for those of you who don't know who I am, I'm the president and CEO for the Chamber. My name is Barbara. So excited to be here and for any faces here that I may not have had a chance to go say hello to, thank you so much for being here with us. I do want to recognize uh, the amazing people here with us. We have our awesome Red Coat Ambassadors. So thank you to our ambassadors for here. If you're not familiar with our ambassadors, they are business leaders across our community who serve in different capacities. But one of the biggest roles that we love with the Chamber is that our ambassadors come out to support local businesses and they always come out to support. So thank you so much. I'd also like to recognize our amazing Royal Court who is here with us. I know I saw Miss Westlico, Junior Miss Westlico, Mr. Westlico, and Miss Texas Onion Fest who have joined us as part of our amazing Royal Court. They do so much great work across the community representing Westlico as student ambassadors. So thank you all so much for being here. Uh, we also have representatives of the Westlico EDC who are here with us. If you are here, raise your hands. I see all of them back. Maria, George, thank you so much for coming out. We also have Commissioner of Mayor Pro Tem, Mr. Adrian Farias, who's here with us today. And of course, our mayor, Mr. Adrian Gonzalez, who I'd like to invite up to do a welcome on behalf of the city of Osaka. Hey, you're coming in, you're part of the commission. Mayor Pro Tem, you have to vote. Hey, where's he, bro? First, I want to thank everybody. Good afternoon. Thank everybody for coming out and supporting our local businesses. Um, Ms. Trevino, thank you for choosing Wesico to start your business. And it's a great business if you have, if you like a buzz or non-buzz ice cream, that's a, it's a great idea. Um, I've never, never heard of this, but that's awesome. And, you know, on behalf of the city of Wesico and our commission, we want to welcome you and thank you for choosing Wesico. And we wish you nothing but the best. And we are here for whatever you need. And for everybody here at Coates and, and EDC, uh, we are a team and we thank you guys for coming out and showing support for our local business. So um, good luck and God bless. And man, you got all the ice cream you can get. <laughs> You're a lucky guy. But thank you guys. Thank you. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, Thank you again for choosing Wasco. Like Mayor said, we uh, we thank you for choosing Wasco. You could have chosen anywhere. And as you see, you, everybody here today, your success is our success, and we want to see you grow. We're here to help, and thank you for not only this venture but the other ventures you have here in Wasco. And thank you again, and God bless. Awesome. Thank you so much. Um, and again, we, you know, we want you to know when you come to Westlico, it is a family here. You see all the support here, everybody who has been waiting to come out here and be a part of this event uh, because we truly believe in our business community and the owners and business leaders across Westlico. So we thank you again for opening this really inventive, cool idea here for this community. And, and I think that's uh, what's neat is you're bringing something different, something unique right here to Wasico that's not only gonna draw people here from our community, but people across the Rio Grande Valley who are gonna come check this out and who probably did check it out during the Wasico parade that took place this last weekend where we saw so, so many people all downtown and it was beautiful. And so it's so great to see businesses growing right here downtown and we thank you for, for taking that challenge and making this space a beautiful space and helping us grow downtown Wasico. So going back to the idea of Buzz Bowl Creamery and what this is about, and you know, you were talking about the menu and you said, yeah, there's suggested buzz options on each of the ice cream uh, items that you have up there. So, uh, Ms. Daniel, I want you to talk to us about your vision, why we're here, and how you got into this franchise, what it means to you, uh, and let our those who are joining us online, and of course, those who are here who haven't tried out uh, Buzz Bowl yet, to learn if we were a first-time customer, how do we order and what do we order? So, 
I'll pass it over to you to share with us a little bit more. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, first of all, I want to, uh, thank you all for making the time for being here today. Um, like Ms. Barbara mentioned, this is an idea that has actually been in the works for quite a few years and, and it's finally happened. So for us, it's very, very exciting. Uh, Buzz Bowl is actually a franchise that originated in Ohio. Um, so over there, they're very big on their bourbons, their whiskeys. Um, so I was out there for a while, I did my research, and I thought that the idea was completely different to what we've seen here. Yes, we have a lot of ice cream shops and they're amazing and they're good, but the fact that we can combine um, liquor with uh, ice cream and make something that is not only kid friendly, but also adult friendly in a family atmosphere is what attracted me most more to the idea. Um, it is a franchise, so we had to look at as far as like the location and, and one of the things that I first thought about was Westlaco. This is my hometown. I, I graduated from here, so I always knew that I wanted to bring the business back here. And um, right away, the franchise started looking into other locations um, and they suggested uh, McAllen and Barr and, and those areas. And I said, no, Westlaco is where it has to be. and. Uh, we did our research and they found how it's growing and the demand and how it's such a great place because it's it's still small enough that you can race. The community is, is great. We all take care of each other, but it's attracting so many businesses and so many franchises. Um, and to us, it's an honor to have it here. Um, I can tell you that it wouldn't have been possible without the help of everybody. Um, the EDC was completely influential and helpful in getting us a grant that actually um, helped us be able to set up here in downtown Westlaco. Um, Texas National Bank, they helped us from the very beginning with setting up our accounts. Um, Tuscany Construction, I can tell you that I've worked with Mr. Chavez for other uh, business ventures, but this was something completely different because not only was it the build out and having to remodel the whole space, it was bringing a completely different concept to the valley, which is uh, the use of liquid nitrogen to be able to uh, flash freeze uh, ice cream. So um, there was a lot of things that we were, it was new to us, um, working with Jackie Beckett and piping, uh, working with doers, working with tanks, so solenoid valve valves, things that are in construction are not very common in this area. So most of our things we had to source from out of state um, but finally it happened and, and we're here. My family has been supportive. It's been about three years that we've been working on this project and they've been with us every single step of the way. And of course our staff, which is extremely important. Uh, we've been open for about two weeks now and it would not have been possible without our staff over there. So um, I did tell them they have to be present because they are visible and they are the reason uh, why we're here today and just everybody who has been helpful and influential people fund Mr. Sanchez and his team as well were very very helpful in getting us funded and getting our grant and getting us started so uh, for that we are thankful for everybody who played a piece in, in, in getting this to where it is now um, and as far as the concept um, it's it's like Barbara mentioned it's just the, the idea that you can buzz or, or non-buzz uh, any type of ice cream. So um, we do have specialty menu. We always suggest that for first time try people who are trying it for the first time. And that always has a suggested buzz, but they can also choose from any of the selection available. We have create your own menus. We have ice cream sandwiches. And um, if anybody is ordering for the first time, I would definitely suggest to try the strawberry shortcake. That is my personal favorite, and it pairs very well with a strawberry vodka if you want to have it best. But thank you once again. Thank you for everybody uh, for being here today. It's definitely something that um, I'm leaving as a legacy. I mean, this is <laughs> the reason why this all happened in the first place. So he needed to be here and, and be present because it's he's the drive and the motivation. <laughs> up and say a few words. I'm going to ask Miss Alex Montenegro to come up on behalf of our Westlaco ambassadors. Caught me off guard. She always catches me off guard. Okay, well, welcome everybody. Thank you for joining us here today. Those that are out there on Facebook Live, thank you. Well, surprise to me, I know Viridiana. 
So it's an amazing <laughs> surprise to see her and know that she owns this place. It's, it's a great accomplishment. You know, we love to see the young ones, because I'm not that young anymore, um, take these huge risks and make it happen. It's not easy. Thank you. Thank you for supporting the mom. <laughs> and like the mayor told you, you have a lot of ice cream here. You're lucky. Um, but we wish you the best and nothing but success. And of course, as being part of the chamber, we'll definitely get the word out. People will know you're here, which I think many already know you're here. Um, but we want to wish you the best. This is a plaque to commemorate today for becoming a member. And I guess you could say we're just officially happy that you're here. Welcome to Wessico. Thank you. Can I get Anthony real quick? Mm -hmm. Here you go. Yeah, there you go. So, I think without further ado, we are ready for a ribbon cutting. And we're going to be doing that up front, out in front of there, in front of the entrance. So, if you all want to join us all up front, we'll be All right, so on the next one, we're going to do the actual ribbon cutting. So, Viviana, are you ready? Okay, there you go. On three, we're going to cut the ribbon if y'all can join us in counting. On three, one, two, three. Congratulations to Buswell Creamery right here in downtown Buswell. We invite everyone to join us. And once again, there are refreshments and snacks on behalf of Buswell Creamery and the team. Thank you so much. If we can get the Buzzbull team to stay out, all of our Buzzbull team staff, for a photo.